Well, hello. Welcome to Chicago. We're just after the noon hour here. Let's see if I can get across the street here. I got eight seconds. So yes, we will cross. Yeah, we got a little rain in the area. Luckily, I made it to work this morning on TikTok just before that rain came through. People were warning about me, warning, uh, warning me about it in the western suburbs. So uh, right after I signed off this morning about 8.30 there on TikTok, the, a little rain band came through, but it's all dried up already. The sun actually came out again, and now it's kind of cloudy and windy. Welcome to Chicago here. We're on Michigan Avenue. We got just above 60 degrees, and uh, we'll walk through River North here. Uh, yeah, I'll... Uh, I looked it up last night. I was talking to Tara about it. I, I know it's it's amazing how influential Taylor Swift is. They put an advertisement up, like a QR code, just an advertisement that people can scan with their phone, and it takes you to a YouTube page. I'm reluctant. She does like she doesn't need any more advertising from me. But uh, curiosity killed the cat. The Tara sent me a. Of course, other people filmed it, and so. Uh, We'll cruise by. I know where the building is. I looked it up, so we'll go over there and take a look at it here on YouTube. Hey, Mylene, Chris, Bob, thanks for tuning in there. Hello, East Lansing. Thanks, Chris, for tuning in. And uh, two hours to the office, walking down to a job there. Hey, Bob, that's good. You're in the back seat riding. That's good. <laughs> Julie, how you doing there? Yeah, welcome to the Lunch Bunch. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Yeah, we still got the tulips here on Michigan Avenue. I'll head north across the river. Usually we don't go back north across the river too much on lunchtime, but we'll do it today. It's kind of a gloomy, cloudy day. So uh, we'll let people file in here and we'll uh, take a little cruise through River North to check out this Taylor Swift QR code advertisement. I'm under, believe me, I'm underwhelmed. It's just a QR code advertisement on the side of a building. I mean, but uh, eh, I guess I'm not a Swifty, that's probably why. But hey, welcome to Chicago. You know where we're at here, Blacker and Michigan Avenue. Yeah, we got the Bulls game tonight. So if the weather cooperates, we'll head over to the West Loop there and see what's happening. It's not, the game doesn't start till 8.30. They're playing the Atlanta Hawks there. Angel, how you doing there? Mary, thanks for tuning in. Yeah, happy Wednesday. Yeah, it works okay. There's actually some people in the office. We got some people in from uh, other offices, which is nice. And, uh, yeah, look at this construction on Michigan Avenue. This is the uh, Sobel Michigan Avenue Bridge here. Does it look like my lens is... Let me make sure that's, uh, is that any better? I don't know. I think it's just, it's kind of, it's kind of humid. It's kind of like moist. The air is kind of damp and foggy here. It just looks weird. Hey, there's a Wendella boat going down the Chicago River there. And we got a little wind. Mary, how you doing there? Looks good. Merck, how you doing there, Merck? Yeah. So, uh. Yeah, we're crossing the, the Sobel Michigan Avenue Bridge. Welcome to the Lunch Bunch there. There's the St. Regis. That's another thing I need to do. I need to go inside the lobby of the St. Regis. That's on the list there. We'll do that the next time we're out that way. If they'll let me film in there, usually most of the hotels are pretty cool with it. There's that view back to the Loop of Chicago. We just crossed the bridge there. Ding the bell. See how it's kind of foggy out by the John Hancock there. Look at the Tribune. Yeah, we're underneath the uh, Wrigley building here. Yeah, good to see you. Yeah, it looks hazy. It does. It looks hazy. You see, it's not just me. I thought it. I thought the same thing. And uh, so we'll head by the Gear Deli here. There, there's that nice view. Look at that view to the Loop of Chicago here. Let's check out the river here while we're here. Trees are greening up. Oh, stepped in a puddle. Stepped right in a puddle. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Yeah, three, three, three. 
and probably the reason it's so hazy now we are getting sprinkles we're getting little sprinkles i looked at my phone it didn't say any precipitation but there's like a 10 percent chance that we're getting a 10 percent right here but it's not even enough to dampen the ground it's just a little misty drizzle but we got 60 degrees anna marie yeah how you doing there yeah welcome to the lunch bunch this is great so let's go over and check out this taylor swift thing hopefully we'll see if uh if tara can't join us i'll uh let her know that you know i looked it up last night i said oh i can head by there on my way to work and then i completely forgot about it on the way to work after i went to sleep and forgot about it and see how i guess i'm the wrong demographic yeah you know, taylor swift makes good songs but i'm not going to spend much money on her <laughs> you know it, i missed when she came to chicago last year i was out of town when the big concert happened and uh so it gave me an excuse to miss taylor swift beyonce all the fun big concerts we did do Lollapalooza last year but that's that was more of a festival there's the tall trump tower hey you can get some sushi at the rebar since it's kind of raining let's go underneath the columns here so i'll get out of the little drips here krista how you doing there dolores how you doing yeah thanks Welcome to the Lunch Bunch here. Look at this nice view we got across to the Jewelers Building, the Mather Tower, the 333. Chris, I know I'm the same way. You know, isn't it amazing that I'm finally of the demographic where the most popular pop star of our current era here, you know, I, I, I recognize a few of her songs, but yeah, I don't really have her playlist in my Spotify. I didn't, I've never bought any of her CDs, so they're, they're doing a photo shoot here. I don't know if I can walk through here. Are they blocking the whole thing? Let's see. Yeah, they are kind of. So here, we'll wait till they get finished with this photo shoot. They're doing a photo shoot here. And I just want to walk through here, and we'll see if they'll let me walk through. I didn't know this photo shoot was going on here. But here, we'll look at the nice, uh... Yeah, I think I can squeeze through here. Good, I'll squeeze through. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Good. Yeah, it wasn't just me. Somebody else was going through here too. So we, they're doing a, they're doing like a professional uh, shot here along the, uh, underneath the, or underneath the colonnade here, the Trump Tower. There's three levels of this. Of course, there's two levels below this, and it's, it was supposed to be a restaurant retail esplanade that faced the river. They've never leased it out. This building's been here for 15 years. And they've never leased it out. They probably just write it off as depreciation. <laughs> That's just my theory. I, I have no idea what's going on. Storm chaser radar. We have a low level moisture, no precipitation. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. Thanks, Julie. It's just like little mist. That's why it looks so hazy. But look at look at this underneath. You can walk along here. At least there's really nice views of the river here. Look, here comes a. Uh, Chicago's classic ladies coming by there. We'll, we'll kind of let's go out here to Wabash Yeah, that's what it's best used for. That's what I would want to use this uh, Underneath the Trump Tower for you can ramp right down here There's the Langham Hotel. We're over by Wabash now north of the river here Let me get over to the bridge here so we can catch the river tour boat going by Nah, she's smart, smart, talented woman. She knows what she's doing. Here, look at the, yeah, we got one boat goes one way, the Wendella boat. And here goes Chicago's classic lady coming the other way. Look at that view, there we go. Welcome to Chicago, welcome to the, uh, let's get out on the bridge here just a little bit. There, free Gaza, okay. Gaza everywhere. Save Gaza, okay. There, look at that. Look at that view to the Chicago River. One boat goes one way, one goes the other. There you can see up to the... Yeah. So we'll go over and film this mural so everybody sees what everybody what's talking about. I'm sure there's already TikToks on it. 
Yeah, I think they got to use them for supports. That's why you can see from the side how many of them there are. Hey, there's people. Hell yeah, you doing there? Hey, it's not a bad day for a. Well, at least it's not raining now. Here we'll go by the uh, arena towers. Hey, we got the light here, so we'll cross. Just like these people will cross behind these cars because the light's going to change and they're going to go. And I don't want to be in the way when they want to go there. See, there, see, right, right exactly on cue. There's the jeweler's building. So this is the, this used to be the, see the Langham Hotel entrance is right there. This used to be the IBM building. Now it's the American Medical Association Plaza. IBM's been working from home even before the pandemic. Hey, look at that. They got, that's awesome. See, they're taking a nice shot there within the umbrellas there. That's what you do. <laughs> look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> hey, Marina Towers. It's corn. Corn cap buildings. Yeah, we'll walk behind there. Sharon, how you doing there? Yeah, thanks for tuning in. Julie and Sandra and Chris and Sharon and Integral, 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 integral. I don't know either. So here's State Street looking south. Chicago Theater's that way. See how this lines up. Crosswalk lines right up with this easternmost tower of the Rita Towers. And there's the uh, water tower over there on top of the block where there's Rossies. They were working on this. So Chris. The fire was in Smith and Walensky. It was Smith and Walensky had the fire that remember we talked about that last two Fridays ago, and uh, that's what caused all the smoke there. Here's the House of Blues sign. There we'll go by the House of Blues here. And, uh, here we'll go up this ramp behind the Marine Towers. Christopher Dotson, how you doing there? Thanks for tuning in. Hope you had a good retreat. Yeah. And uh, here, House of Blues. Welcome to the House of Blues here in Chicago. It's right behind the Marina Towers. I'll pan up and show you the, we're like in between the towers here. And they got this interesting, I don't even know what type of architectural style this is. They're definitely postmodern, kind of deconstructivist, but with curving, it's very curving. It's, it, they built this before Frank Gehry was doing anything like this. Isn't that interesting? But uh, look at the Rio Towers here. Yeah, it's, uh, Magic Mike and other people were sending me, uh, there's some uh, units for rent there and what the prices were and what the views were and what it looked like on the inside. So we'll go by Katana. There's there's a bowling alley. There's a bowling alley. Hotel Chicago. This is the House of Blues. They got a club in there. There's House of Blues in other cities. Is there a House of Blues in New York? I don't know. At the bar. That's good. Hey, at least Yelfie got a few free, few free drinks out of it. That's a real retreat there. You got to yeah, get some libations. <laughs> there we go. You'll laugh. What I'm doing is, you know, and, and you might get this too. There's some uh, construction going over there. It's probably hard to hear me. Uh, just joined. We're in Chicago. We're on uh, Dearborn Street. And we're going up towards Kinsey, I think. And Harry Carey's is right here. Used to be Bar Louie, but I don't think it's open anymore. There's the Katana restaurant. But... I'm sure there's some in New York and other cities too. There's some like Taylor Swift QR code on the side of a building. People are like, did you see the new Taylor Swift mural? I'm like, what are you talking about? And it's not even a mural. It's an advertisement. So people line up with their cell phones. It just takes you to a YouTube page, which is an advertisement for whatever she's promoting at this current moment in time. So Harry Carey Drive, Harry Carey's restaurant. We'll cross the street here. It's a steakhouse. Here's the parlor pizza. Kenzie Hotel. I saw Kenny from New York promoting some pizza. That's good. He said the pizza beat out the rats. So we we're all can be thankful for that. There's the, see we went underneath the Trump Tower. There it is, the former IV building. There's the top of the Marina Towers. And there's Harry Carey's Steakhouse right here. 
and uh, we're at uh, Dearborn Street in Kenzie. We're waiting for the light here. Looks like a Dutch revival. That looks like that belongs in New York City. That looks like New Amsterdam right there. We're in Chicago. There's the courthouse with Leopold Loeb under trial. This is what's making all the noise. They're, they're, they're doing pressure cleaning here. You know what? I should head up Dearborn Street. I should head up Dearborn Street to catch it right. So here, look at that view. Look at that view. I'm lost. I'm lost with the noise here. How are you doing? Here, I'll cross over here. Here's the bike lanes. Bagels. Jeffrey Baird did an interview with Jeannie Gang. Oh, wow, that's nice. Yeah, where they got that gap in the uh, St. Regis. Yeah, that's for wind shear. You know, instead of using a mass damper, which is a weight that floats on oil or water, they, they, they use that to allow the wind to blow through the top so it wouldn't sway since it's such a tall and narrow building. We're talking about the Genie Gang's uh, designed St. Regis, formerly known as the Wanda Vista. But uh, here's, here's this beautiful courthouse. We talk about that sometimes. It's an uh, interesting facade. There's a lot of history in this courthouse. Of course, there was a courthouse before this that they tore down, I don't know, whenever they built this in the early 1920s. There was an older courthouse, and that's where they had the Haymarket trial where they hung five or whatever of those seven or eight people they arrested for the Haymarket thing in 1886. And... Uh, then they built this one and then later in the 1920s when there was the Leopold Loeb trial it was a big sensational trial that was like the OJ Simpson trial of the 20s but it had nothing to do with race it had to do with two men just for fun like a thrill kill they just killed like a neighborhood boy it was like on the south side of Chicago and uh, they had no remorse they just they just did it to see what it would be like and and they it was called the Leopold Loeb trial I guess Clarence Darrow was a part of that famous lawyer at that time and uh here here's the uh we're on uh see that alley that alley supposedly where they hung the the gallows for the members convicted falsely probably of the haymarket affair and it was a horrible they didn't get the weights white and they strangled to death i hate to bring that up but people always are asking about haunted places in chicago that courthouse people have heard all kinds of weird things in there and not, not that I'm like a big ghost chaser. I just wanted to point that out here. So here we'll head north on uh, Clark Street. We'll go past all these nice little restaurants here. We'll go back Rick Bayless's uh, Frontera Grill, Celebrity Chefs. You might have seen his show on PBS. Andres, how you doing here? Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, thanks. No, you're not late at all. We're just bouncing around the river north here and uh we're going by bub city we're on clark street north of hubbard and uh or illinois and we're gonna go by little baba cafe baba reba did we already pass the frontier grill no it's up here i think and uh, there's some restaurants across the way here looks like they're not going to close down Clark Street this year. Clark Frontera Grill. They had it closed to street traffic. Yeah, Frontera Grill. It looks just like the salsa that I buy. <laughs> but here we'll bounce around here. I need to go back one street. I keep I keep going over too far. I wanted to film that courthouse and I bounced over. So we'll make a right here. We're bouncing around River North here. Fairfield Inn and Suites. High place. There's some hotels over here. Yeah, I don't usually walk down this way, so it's good. We're, get, we're covering it a little bit. John James, how you doing? Oh, are you talking about the Leopold and Loeb trial? Yeah, so the kids' glasses. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'll look into that. So that shows you how little piece of evidence they would have gotten away with it. Yeah, I think they, like, threw his body in the water or something. Yeah, it was horrible, you know. It was just, it was just two privileged adult, young adult, college-age kids that just for their own kicks they decided to murder this little boy they didn't like 
and they almost got away with it. it was Leopold and Loeb trial in the 1920s. There's the Boyce building. You see a, build, a lot of buildings like that in St. Louis. Here's a fire station. Look at the size of this fire station. You got ambulance 42, engine 42, truck number three, command van number one, fire chief, squad one. All these bays here, this modern uh, fire station here. And here we're back to Dearborn Street because I need to go up one more block. We're at Dearborn, Illinois. We need to get to Grand Avenue. It's on Grand Avenue where this Taylor Swift QR code. And once you see it, you'll be so underwhelmed. You'll be like, with all her money, she could have paid for something better than that. <laughs> I actually do like a real mural, like a real mural of like her and her boyfriend from the Kansas City Chiefs or something, you know. William D. Boyce, who in 1915 in this building started the Lone Scouts of America and the Lone Scout machine, uh, magazine. There you go. So that's who William Boyce is. I didn't know that. There it is. William Boyce, 1910 organization, the Boy Scouts of America. So William, William D. Boyce started the Boy Scouts of America. That's why this is the Boyce building. Any, anybody a Boy Scout or a Girl Scout? Hey, hello. Weeblos. <laughs> I see him selling cookies. That's good. Yeah, happy Wednesday, Amber. How you doing, Elena? Elena? And let's see here. So the reason I'm up here today, it's kind of a cloudy, overcast day. The Bulls are have a play-in playoff game tonight at the United Center. So if I can get motivated to walk over there after work. I don't know what time I'm going to start, probably closer to 6 o'clock, so my battery won't run out before the game. If the game doesn't start till 8.30, the Bulls play the Atlanta Hawks for a chance to get into the NBA playoffs. Should I stay on this street? Nah, we stay on this street here. So, oh, here it is. It's over here. It's, it's this building. So this is the building. It's on the other side here. And you see how this whole building is like pretty much for lease. There's Corey's, Newark, Delhi. This is uh, Dearborn Street looking south. We're in River North, Chicago. This is Grand Avenue. This is all residential towers here. There's a post office right there. And uh, they got the nice bike lane here on Dearborn looking north. Yeah, we can go up by the old Excalibur, which is now down. Look, there's a bunch of people waiting there. There's a bunch of people waiting there. So, huh, I didn't, I can't imagine. So, are they waiting in line? What are they waiting in line for? I can't believe this is causing, it shows you the popularity of Taylor Swift, that there's just like a stupid thing. There's all these people here m m filming this. So if you just joined her in Chicago, there's some st stupid uh, Taylor Swift QR code up here. And there's like a cult-like following here. It says danger painter working. So we'll walk down the street and there it is. Look, they're working on it right now. They're actually working on it. Handcrafted quality. There it is. Oh, they're playing. They're playing music. <laughs> How's it going? Let me get out of the way here. Here's the crowds gathered to film this thing. We got international media. Yeah, <laughs> they got dogs checking it out. How you doing? That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We should sell concessions here. This is awesome. So again, welcome to Chicago. Here's what they're all looking at: the Taylor Swift Tortured Poets Department. You scan that QR code. It'll take you to a YouTube page. How you doing? And let's zoom in here. Look at all the people gathered here to film it. And uh, you can scan the QR code there. Let me let me zoom in a little bit here. I suppose he has the number 13 in there. And, and then you see at the top there, it says, what does it say? Taylor Swift, the Torture Poets Department. That's what she's promoting here. It's on the side of this building. I think it's 33 or something. 33 West Grand Avenue here at Dearborn. In Chicago and look at the crowds the media uh, I'll walk through here because they're actually painting let's see there Terry I'm glad you're seeing this yeah I, I walked over here just to show you you know yeah, what the the big all the hubbub is there's some people here they're all waiting here they're doing some interviews so here they're interviewing people and uh, <laughs> I got some music playing here. I don't want to get a copyright infringement. I, I got to get away from this music. I got to get away from this music because I don't want to get a copyright infringement. 
on my YouTube here. That, that I'm sure they'll find her music and they'll be like, you know, cannot monetize this video. But look at the crowd of people gathered here. That's yeah, the rat hole all over again. At least they filled in the rat hole. I, I went over and filmed it before they filmed it. I talked to somebody that lived in Roscoe Village and they said, yeah, they filled it in. But that's enough of that. So now you are all my witnesses. So when, when probably later tonight, I'll get asked, did I go by? And, uh, yes, I went on YouTube. And I'll tell all my TikTok audience that will not follow me on YouTube. I said, you have to go to YouTube. I filmed it and no one will do it. You know, it's so funny. But uh, Taylor, look me up. Yeah. How you doing there? You use the QR code, it takes you to video. Did it work? Lisa, it worked. That's good. See, that's uh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a public service there. See, I promoted, I, Brian Really Chicago promoted Taylor Swift. Oh, I feel like such a sellout. Yeah, it takes you to a YouTube short video. Hey, Lisa, I know you know the Girl Scouts. Keebler. Oh, see, Keebler's, Keebler's one of the cookie bakers for the uh, Girl Scout cookies. Oh, the secret's out. I thought they were all home baked, right? Ah. <laughs> yeah. Daryl from Burbank, thanks for tuning in. You just missed the Taylor Swift QR code. I bet you were looking for that, Daryl, right? You're a big Swifty, right? No, I'm joking. Let's see. I'm glad you're tuning in. Typewriter tapping out. Yeah, just the T. See, it's it's all building up suspense. I'm just amazed that the amount of people that were just standing there, like waiting for something to happen, and there was somebody painting like on the side of it it's just an advertisement it's like viral advertisement and it works because then people on social media ask and then everybody goes over there and films it and takes a selfie with it and it, you know it's you get this economies of scale there there's Fado's Irish pub we were over here for St. Patrick's Day it was a big line around here there's the giant McDonald's what time we got 1227 well hey See, I showed you the Taylor Swift QR code. You're all set there. If you missed it, you can rewind. Look at this beautiful building here. Look at this Italian 8 building. Very large. One, two, three, four, five, six stories. Got Manziano's, Little Italy's right here. Here we're back to Clark Street. All the great restaurants. I guess they're not going to close down the street this year. We'll head over towards uh, LaSalle here. You're right. QR codes were going the way of the dinosaur, but then now we're all stuck on the internet forever, including me. And, uh, eh, what's the world coming to? Mangiano's Banquets. I, well, I've been to a banquet here. Look at that nice, I like that mirror on that building there. Look how it incorporates both those buildings. Very nice color scheme. I like it. And then even the ones next to it on either side, these historic Italian eight buildings. Look at that rooftop there. He's, Tanta, Tanta, that's new. Look how they tore the building down on the corner. There used to be a building here on the corner, and it's gone. Is that? No, I'm thinking of the other street. Maybe that building was already. Look at this little narrow one. Look at this little narrow. You get up to the roof there. So here, we'll go over towards the Moxie here. So you see where we're at. There's the River North skyline there, pretty much along State Street. Here, we'll go by the... Uh, We'll cross the street. We'll go to the Anti-Cruelty Society here. There's somebody dancing here, so I don't know what's going on. So here, we'll go by the Anti-Cruelty Society here. 125 years. They got, they got all the, they got all the, uh, they got all the uh, sh shades pulled down, so we can't film it. Yeah, good use of QR codes. But there, here's where the Anti-Cruelty Society is. Sometimes in the evenings they have the shades pulled up and you can see all the pets in jail there. See the Anti-Cruelty Society. Look at this amazing Art Deco. Let me get out in the street here. Hopefully I won't get run over here. Anti-Cruelty Society. It's awesome. Pet shop. You got two from here. Hey, Chanel, thanks for adopting some pets. Chris did the same thing. Chris, I think, Chris, you busted Maggie out of jail and 
Chanel, you busted two out of jail. That's great. Thanks for uh, supporting Anti-Cruelty Society there for animals. We got so many great animal lovers that follow along, and I appreciate that. And uh, so we're over to Wells Street. Wells Street, there's that building. We're in River North Chicago. We're at Wells and uh, what is this? Uh, Grand Avenue. Yeah, we'll cross. Actually, I want to stay on this side because there's a nice view to the Sears Tower almost if we get down this way a little bit. Look how you can look to the top of the Salesforce Tower. See, the Anti-Cruelty Society takes up a whole half a block between Wells Street and LaSalle here in Chicago. Yeah, that was Grand Avenue. Look at this housing. Look how these balconies stick out here. There's a lot of balconies on this building. Look at this. Look at these balconies right on Wells Street. Here's the parking for the Anti-Cruelty Society. They got a parking deck above there. It's a really big institution here. Look at this outdoor seating. Hey, they got the outdoor seating out. That's nice. Police tape. Here's this Pardo Nadiri Salon. We got a ladder. We got a big piece of glass just sitting out here. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> How you doing? Here's the Wesley. So look at the L going by there. Wow. Yeah, there's the L. It's about to make that bend. Yeah, thanks, Chanel. Danny, how you doing there? Let's see. You got an upscale business? There you go. Upscale business. There you go, Danny. Spend some time with them. See, but they make an offer you can't refuse there. That's great. Here, uh, look at that building. There, look at the L round in the bend there. Look at the round going into the merchandise mart there. Welcome to Chicago, scenes of the city here. We're on Wells Street going south. There's round into Kellogg's building there. The brown line train heading into the loop. Here's a Lou Melnati's. Lou Melnati's right here on uh, Wells Street. They're all over the place. There, it doesn't get more Chicago than that. You got Lou Melnati's, Chicago style pizza, and you got the L going into the merchandise mart station. Nice. Just cast iron. Yeah. Cast iron columns. World famous. World famous business. Oh, they want me to come by. Well, hey, message me, Danny. Message me, Danny. We'll talk about it. You know how paranoid and weird about him. I, I'm, I'm the anti-influencer. I'm amazed that... Thank you all for getting me over 50,000 there on TikTok. Um... I, 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 I don't know how to live in this world of like endorsements where everything's like monetized, endorsed, you know. Uh, I'm not the, I'm not Dwayne Johnson. I'm not The Rock. You know, look, they, they, how much did they pay him to, you know, have me advertising this sugar, this, this, this energy drink or something, you know. <laughs> Thank you. But I, I might need that. I might lose my day job and then I'll have to do this full time. So, hey, it's good. Thank you. I appreciate it. We'll talk. Just send me a message in the comments there and we'll, 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 we'll figure it out but here's the we're walking here look at this yeah here's the brown line right on time look at that scenes of the city here see how it snakes across it goes across uh, Hubbard Street this is Hubbard Street it goes across Hubbard Street at Wells Snakes around the Kellogg building that they just recently built. Look at this sculpture. I like this sculpture. It's just very simple, very minimalist. Just kind of bends the beam there. Thanks, Danny. I need all the help I can get. Forrest Gump running shoes. Yeah, the ping pong paddles. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll go to China. We'll, 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 uh, we'll advertise the ping pong paddle game there. Forrest Gump. <laughs> Look how this L curves around here. It's nice. So, uh, yeah, I think they're working on the Franklin Street Bridge. So I'll head back across the river on Wells Street here. We'll hug the L tracks here. And uh, see how you can go up into the station here. There's another train going by. What time we got here? 1235. We'll head into the loop here. We'll, we'll dance around the loop a little bit. You hear the sound of the train coming by here. We're at the Kinsey Chop House. Kinsey and Wells. Uh, 
Hey, how you doing? Kinsey Chap House, look at it. Doors closing. Motorola. Look at look how large the merchandise mart is. Look at the size of this building. Two blocks long. Over 20 stories tall. L going out of the merchandise mart station here. Welcome to Chicago. We got 60, just over 60 degrees. I think it was warmer this morning than it is now. I see some sunshine in the forecast, but it's going to cool down to the 50s, but it's still not bad. Once we get through tomorrow, I think there's supposed to be a bunch of rain on Thursday. So uh, we'll see how it goes, but we got a Bulls game tonight. We well, you know, Hawks are in town for uh, one game playoff to get into the playoffs. Here comes another train heading into the station. Maybe we'll get it crossing the bridge here. Round line turning corners, yeah. Look at that, look at that alley. See, you can see how the, the, there, there used to be rail a rail line that went to Navy Pier and it went underneath the Merchandise Mart and it went underneath LaSalle Street and underneath the Marina Towers and the Trump Tower and everything. And if they, I think the easement's still there it would be interesting if we could use that for something. But uh, all the possibilities, the planning possibilities. Hey, thanks everybody for tuning in. Welcome to Chicago. Yeah, we, if you missed it, we checked out that QR code for Taylor Swift. There was a mob of people there. sound of the L going by but I wanted to get on this side to get this view here and there's a there's a nice view that way too that goes to the uh, wolf point there you can hear the bridge rattling around here but I want to film this way here we're just joining we're in Chicago we're on the Wells Street Bridge crossing the Chicago River look at that great view looking east towards the lake this is the main channel of the Chicago River and we're on Wells Street here there, the Chicago School. Look at this big tower, top of the Merchandise Mart. There, here's the center, the center of the bridge. See, yeah, there's a gap right there. I got a foot on either side. And this is a true drawbridge, Baskill Bridge. There's a bunch of people on LaSalle Street. So should we go over to LaSalle Street and see what they're filming there? There's a bunch of people standing over there. Is there some, there's somebody talking, so let's, I have no idea what this is. They they have this bridge roped off, but I didn't see it until I crossed it. So I think I can jump this pretty easily and I'll get off of this bridge. Here comes a shoreline sightseeing tour. Not very full at all. They're still running it. And they're, well, let's go over to LaSalle Street and see what they're filming over there. So I don't think I should have been here. here. We'll go this way here. Hey, how's it going? So here, let's head over this way. It's always something going on. Always something going on. Never know what you're going to stumble upon live streaming here. So if I would have went across the cell. I don't know if they're letting people across. They're filming something over there. We'll zoom in and see if we can see what we're, what's going on here. They're, it looks like they're doing an interview right in front of the uh, Britannica building here. Curious, yeah, let's see what happens here. So it looks like they're blocking people from actually going over there. Maybe not. Let's see if we can get up closer here. And I'll raise this selfie. If I can actually get on the bridge. Let's stop right here and let's zoom in. Yeah, they're starting to move. They're starting to move now. So hold on, let me zoom in here to see what's going on here. See, they, they were interviewing somebody right there. And see, I got the camera crews. They got all the mics and the good microphones that help with the wind and all that stuff. They're on the LaSalle Street Bridge here. So let's, uh, let's see if we can ask somebody to see what's going on here. If anybody knows. 
let's see it looks like they're letting people walk across there so uh you just join me in chicago we're here on uh wacker and la salle and there's a lot of activity here is it okay to cross the bridge or no, not right now, not right now. good are they filming something here or what Emperor of uh, Ocean Park, right there. The oh, Park. the Emperor of Ocean Park. Emperor of Ocean Park. Thank you very much. So here, here, thank you. This is what's going on. They're filming the Emperor of Ocean Park here, and they were they're, they're they're filming across the bridge here. So we'll go across the side here. See, they got all the transportation and stuff, and all the equipment here. So we'll position ourselves right over here, get out of the way here, and uh, we'll sit up here. The Emperor of Ocean Park here. They're they're filming a they're filming a movie here. Has anybody heard of that? So here, let me zoom in. Let me let me hold on here. Let me zoom in again. So they're filming a movie or a TV show, The Emperor of Ocean Park. I'll show you the back of the chair there. Uh, they're they're moving the equipment off the bridge here. So we just stumbled across this. This is the LaSalle Street Bridge. Look at the tour boat going by. Look at that. They might be in the movie there. But here, I'll uh, I'll go by and film uh, the back of the chair here. See, they got transportation here. There's all the people working on it, security and stuff. And uh, see the Emperor of Ocean Park, the Emperor of Ocean Park. See it on the back of that chair there. And uh, I'm trying to stay away. I'm trying to stay other way here. <laughs> there we go. Let's see if we can film it here. There, the Emperor of Ocean Park. That's what uh, they're filming right here on the South Street Bridge. So I'm gonna get back to work here. I uh, will wait to cross here. MGM, MGM Plus, thank you. So the Emperor of Ocean Park is going to be a series on MGM Plus. They're filming right here on location in Chicago, and we got a bit of it here. So, yeah, I didn't, I didn't expect to stumble upon this, but this was a good thing to see. There's the L train going by. There's the uh, LaSalle Street. Look at that, looking to the Board of Trade there, that classic view like you get in board, Road to Perdition. And, hey, we got the light here, but, hey, the police officer gave us the good information. That's nice. I figured they wouldn't let people be crossing that bridge. If I tried to cross from the other way, I would have been stuck on the other side. So it was fortunate that we crossed Wells. They did have Wells blocked off. I walked across. I might have been in the scene because I didn't realize it, it wasn't well blocked off at the north end. Here's the uh, historic marker for the Eastland disaster. Remember how we talk about the Eastland disaster all the time? While still partially tied to its dock, the river's edge, the Curzon stream, steamer, the Eastland rolled over in the morning. July 24th, 1915. The worst maritime disasters in American history. You know, he, the, the loss of life, arrival the Titanic. 800 people lost their lives. Eastland disaster happened right here. We talk about it all the time. And uh, so here we'll, we'll continue down this way. And we might as well head down to Riverwalk here since we're here. Oh, it's a book by Stephen J. L. Parker. Thanks for the great information there. The Emperor of Ocean Park. Well, I'll look into that. And here we'll walk down this ramp here. It's a series. Yeah. It's, so be look, we'll be looking for the Emperor of Ocean Park here on MGM. See, look for that scene there where they filmed on the LaSalle Street Bridge. I might have been walking across the bridge. I don't think I was supposed to be walking across the bridge. <laughs> like, again, people will be like, I should have been an extra. You know, it's a lot of waiting around, you know. Anybody that's been in an extra for anything, you just spend all day waiting around, be like blurry in the background. That's okay. I, people tune in, they're, they're extras for Chicago Fire, Chicago PD. I know friends I've worked with that have been extras for movies that have been filmed in Chicago. Used to be a channel called Epic. Okay, good. So MCM, M MGM Plus, MGM Plus. Yeah, it's a major uh, motion picture production company in Los Angeles there, MGM, just like the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. <laughs> so, thanks, Bob, for the information there. So, the, the uh, Emperor of Ocean Park tells the story of a complex family with a single seductive link to the shadow lands of crime. Oh, that's why they're, oh, no, I didn't realize they're filming right here. I just, I just went around the corner. Thank you. Thank you. See, they're filming right here. They're filming right here, probably for the same shot. Look how they got they got the background shot of LaSalle Street, and they were actually filming. So they probably got long shots, and then they got the close-up shots on the bridge. And so they, that's, a, that's a major camera there. That's a nice 
camera there. See, the city of Chicago is a movie set for so many shows and TV shows and movies, has been and will continue to be, along with New York and L.A., these classic cities to set the backdrop for all these movies, and we'll look into that. I had no idea. I didn't plan that out. See, it, even if everything doesn't happen for a reason, our minds will, will, will think that everything happens for a reason. If I wouldn't have filmed the Taylor Swift QR code, I wouldn't have been on LaSalle Street at the time when they were doing that, and we caught it. So, hey, thanks, Tara and everybody else, for feeding me that information so I could figure out where it was at. I looked it up last night. I was like, do I really want to go by this building? And then there was a bunch of people standing out there filming it. You know, look at that. Look, here's the sky view. Large barge heading by here. Yeah, that's cool. Film is going to wrap up April 25th. So there's a few more. Yeah, it's going to wrap up pretty quickly here. So thanks for the good information. Thanks, everybody, for searching. You're smart enough, the lunch bunch, to search the internet and actually feed me information I could use. I appreciate that. You know how many times I get frustrated with, and I don't attribute this just to TikTok. It's just a different, more wider audience. You know, and I know, and everybody else knows, people will ask me something they can easily look up on Google themselves. But no one wants to do that, you know. <laughs> and uh, but uh, it's the nature of the beast. I wish my brain. I need to. I need the implant so I can just Google my brain when I'm walking, and it'll 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 make me think of the answer. I'll be a cyborg. Yeah, very good at Google. The Google machine. Here comes a yellow water taxi. So, uh, what time we got here? 12.47. This will work out perfectly. I'll be back to work by 1 o'clock. Thanks to everybody for joining us for the little lunch walk here on a gloomy Wednesday afternoon. And we'll, we'll try to do the, just the pregame. The pregame, I'm going to try to be home by 8.30 before the Bulls game starts tonight. But we'll head over to the West Loop, probably starting around 6 tonight. And yeah, that's where that fire was at, Smith and Walensky, the Marina Towers, and look at the yellow Chicago water taxi going by. That's what Chris and Brandon and I took to go down to Chinatown. It's a great thing. Six dollars one way, ten dollars round trip. Right all the way to Chinatown and back to Michigan Avenue. It's a great way to get around and see some of the city. And that thing goes pretty fast. That thing picks up speed when you go under the bridges. The heat of the moment. I know, and you know what I'm talking about, very lucky guy, you know, it's, I do have the second phone, I'm like, you know, every once in a while we have to whip it out and do our own search, I have to confirm stuff, people tell me like stuff, late breaking news and I have to make sure it's real, unless it comes from a trustworthy source, of you people on the lunch bunch I trust pretty much, I think we were able to, thanks uh, my mods for and Chris for dealing with uh, uh, Mama Goo, I think I saw Mama Goo started a new account on TikTok and was able to view it this morning. So hopefully that's working out. And uh, thanks for clearing that up. I, yeah, I have no idea why that happened, but it's what happens when you get 50,000 people in an account. Anything can happen. Hey, look at the city view going by. There's hardly anybody on it, but they're still running the tours here right in front of the Marina City here. Marina, to Marina Towers. Marina Towers. I'm sorry. Yeah, they're talking about prohibition. It's true bards there, they're pushing it. Yeah. Large barge. Oh, my mods are the best. Thanks so much. Thanks to Chris and Sarah and Diana and Anita and Mary Therese, everybody else. The whole big band of mods, the mod squad. Thanks so much for all you do and pinning stuff to the top. And yeah, see, it showed up on your For You page. That's the algorithm feeding, spoon feeding that information to you. It knows, it's because of Chicago, it knows Tara watches Chicago content with Jay, City Walking Girl, and me, and says, oh, Tara might like this. Even if you don't like Taylor Swift, 
That's why, that's why this is all, everything's a promotion. Everything's just to serve you up advertising. Eyes on the screen, milking us like cows. I'm part of the problem, I know. What time we got here, 12.50? Hey, here's the Vietnam War Memorial. They got the fountains on, it's looking nice. We'll head all the way back to Michigan Avenue here on the Riverwalk. Yeah, we saw some cool stuff today. Some filming, some on-site location filming. Some plants provide habitat, yeah. There's the Chicago Brew House, got the four stars of Chicago. So when we walked by Daly Plaza last time, I noticed there was a new flag, or at least new to me, and that's, that's the new Cook County flag. They had a contest where they designed a new Cook County flag. Of course, Chicago has, has a longtime flag that everybody mostly knows with the four red stars, six-pointed stars with the two bands of light blue on the white flag. Well, they designed one for Illinois. It was a contest. A young gentleman won it, and it, it has like, it's like a, you know, three... It's, it's it's almost like the the, the 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 confluence. It's like the two branches of the Chicago River meeting with green stripes around it, and then it has a, a circle of six star or five stars. It has a circle of five stars. The Illinois or the Cook County flag, and the Cook County used to have a different flag, which was just like the seal of Cook County on it, and they they replaced it with that. And I didn't realize that. And it's flying over Daly Plaza, so I'll point it out the next time we're over there. Hopefully they'll start the farmer's markets up pretty soon. They started the farmer's markets up on the weekends only, like Saturdays in Lincoln Park. But later this season, they'll, they'll put it on Wednesdays. Hey, we're good. The walk's fun. That's good. Thanks, Anna Marie and John James and everybody else there in Maryland. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, it's better through YouTube. You can, you can, 720p is landscape. You can see more of the periphery, and you can put it on your flat screen TV. Some people watch it that way. You just got to turn your, turn your phone sideways if you're watching on your phone. So there's plenty of options here. And I like that it records the whole live stream, so if you miss it, you can watch the whole hour-long live stream and go back to the archives if you missed any day. And if you're bored and looking for something to be distracted with, you can watch. Just pick a day and see where we go. It's always something new. That's what's good about the city. It's always something new happening. You don't expect. Half of my best videos is I just stumble across something that I didn't plan to see, you know, like that filming there on LaSalle Street. I had no idea that was going on. I didn't even know the book or the show or was being filmed here. Same thing happened when Deli Boys were here. We'll head up the stairs here. We'll go up to Michigan Avenue. And uh, it's nice. Afro killer mural here. The light, the, 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 the uh, colors coming out of the face there. Look at that view, a classic view to the Wrigley Building, the Tribune, and the uh, Intercontinental Hotel, which is almost attacked by pigeons. There's the lower Wacker Drive. Go up the steps here. Yeah, nice mural. Nice mural. Look at those buildings. So I'm going upstairs here, so that's why it's kind of start and stop here. There's where the water, you can catch the water taxi right there behind the uh, Wrigley building. We'll head up Michigan Avenue here. So there's the London house. Woo. So we missed the light, so it'll give me a chance to catch my breath. We'll circle over here. Look at that great view. And uh, we'll pan around here. Yeah, nice murals. There, there's that classic view. Look at that. So thanks everybody once again for tuning in for the uh, lunch block. Look at the Dusable Michigan Avenue Bridge. So next week, a week from today, what is today, Wednesday? I think next Wednesday is the first chance during the week we might be able to see them lift the bridges for the sailboats. I have to check the web page. It depends on the weather and if anybody actually requests to go through the bridges that day. And so it'll be a game day decision. But if they are, I'll let you know as soon as I know. And we'll try to film 
them lifting these Baskill bridges, the draw bridges, to lift the sailboats into the harbor, which for me is a very festive time because it means we got the whole boating season ahead of us. And uh, we'll head across the Wanker Drive here and we'll head into uh, the cultural mile of Michigan Avenue here. There's the London Guarantee and Accident Building, Smash Burger. They'll smash your burger. Sounds good. Yeah, so look for me if you want to tonight. If, if, the, if the weather looks like it's going to be okay tonight, probably starting at least, I might start a little before 6 o'clock. I'll probably get antsy, but I'll start the, I'll probably walk through the loop. I'll probably go through Union Station because someone asked me about Union Station and uh, we've gone through there many times before, but look at that. Just riding down the sidewalk. I wouldn't recommend that, especially on Michigan Avenue. But uh, then we'll walk through the West Loop and then we'll end up over United Center, see if parking lots are starting to fill up for the Bulls game tonight. I might walk a little further towards Garfield Park, uh, the, the, the house where Fred Hampton was murdered by the Chicago Police Department. You ever saw Judas and the Black Messiah movie talks about the Black Panthers in Chicago. That house is only like four blocks, five blocks west of the United Center. And I don't know if I'll get over there or not. I don't know if anybody's interested in that. And uh, it's like ancient history to the younger generation. But since that movie came out, you know. And I'll talk about the Henry Horner Holmes that used to be there. So it wasn't just Cabrini Green. There used to be the Henry Horner Holmes. When I moved to Chicago, they were still up just like Cabrini Green. And they tore all those down. And it just amazes me that people think that Chicago's so bad now. They didn't see what it was like. In the how bad that got that area got in the 80s I mean, it was horrible you know it was true buildings were controlled by rival gangs and they would shoot each just like Cabrini Green and that's why those you know the this Chicago Housing Authority mismanaged a lot of those buildings and they were cheaply built they were underfunded it was just like out of sight out of mind and uh, but we'll talk about that tonight here so we'll cross uh, Michigan Avenue the history that surrounds us thanks everybody for tuning in here hey thanks Mona thanks for the yeah, weather permitting thanks for understanding we'll see what happens I'll keep you posted thanks Annie thanks uh, Sharon thanks Patricia and Julie and Merck and Angel John James Lisa thanks for being on and Anna Marie and Chris and Marilyn and Tara and Mona well Mona's in here twice Angel Richard Gardner Thanks, everybody. Denise. Thanks, everybody. Very lucky guy. And everybody else, back to the beginning. Thanks for tuning in. And so we'll uh, we'll catch you later today. We'll see if the Bulls can eke out a victory tonight against the Atlanta Hawks. And we'll take a tour to the West Loop. So have a good day. Talk to you later from Chicago. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Yeah. Good afternoon, Krista. You too. Thanks a lot, Richard. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.